equitable and inclusive fashion as well. So we launched Smart City X, as Steve mentioned, probably at the worst possible time in many people's uh, mindsets. But when we think about it, and hopefully when we look back in years, if there are future programs and funds, um, we're going to look back and say we did it at the absolute perfect time. Uh, it, this was an inflection point for so many of us, uh, cities included. Um, we were fortunate to partner with some of the most iconic brands across Japan um, and then combine that with over 95 global startups that we considered best in class, right? They represented 20 countries from around the world. So we wanted that element of diversity within the um, community. I think some people see this as, oh, is this an accelerator? What, what exactly is this, Michael? And the answer to that is we really position ourselves as a community, right? We have mentors, we have corporate partners, we have um, uh, interesting startups, right? And it's not for six companies or for 10 startups or 12, like an accelerator might look. It's about looking at it from a stage agnostic perspective. It's about saying, what are the leading technologies that are going to take us to the next level? And then harnessing that innovation and working together to get to where we need to be. Yeah, uh, thank you, Ebisan. Actually, you know, the, the, we have an initiative with uh, you know, Shibuya City. Uh, Shibuya is the uh, you know, center of Tokyo, but uh, they have uh, you know, the, the area where so many you know, the elder people live there. And uh, you know, the, we are working with uh, you know, Shibuya to provide the, I think, a 3,000 something smartphone with the uh, in apps helping the, you know, the life of uh, elderly people. Actually, it's not studied yet, but uh, you know, we, we understand there's a problem. You know, the elderly people you know, has a difficulty to use the app to you know, the, deserve the you know, COVID the vaccine or whatever. So uh, yeah, there's a, you know, activity uh, you know, initiative with uh, Shibuya City how we can support, you know, other people by leveraging smart city technologies. We, we do have quite a few companies within the 95 um, company cohort, you could say, or community that, that do look at cybersecurity. Um, it, it's a massive issue and whether it's more B2B, right? I mean, what we just saw over the weekend, the solar <laughs> attacks, um, it, you know, or if it's more at the consumer level. I mean, as everyone knows, I, I think I saw the stat here, it was 155 million Americans last year um, had their data hacked in some capacity. Now that's just, that's an astounding number, right? Um, and it's not just in the US and places like United Arab Emirates, um, cyber attacks were up over 250% just last year alone. So this is a global problem. There's no question about that. Um, and I think, you know, you talk to investors, whether it be at the venture level or at the next level, of course, in the public markets, um, this is an area that you're seeing people double, triple and quadruple down on, because as we continue to do things remotely, as we continue to be more reliant on the cloud and things like 5G and 6G, um, there are going to be bad actors, of course. Um, and, and we need to ensure that we are partnering and we are fostering a community of that next generation of innovators in the cybersecurity space. 